What's going on, everybody? It's Ninja Drunk FX. It's Great Day Under a Dead Reaction. I'm not going to actually watch the video. We know how he feels about stuff like that. But it's nice to know that he actually did drop some type of video that kind of really just gave uh, some assurance that he's okay. Because a lot of us are obviously worried about him. Uh, it sounds like I did watch the video on my own already. And I'm just going to fast forward towards the end. He basically says he will see us in a few days. So, um, back in a few days, quick vid or two on all this uh, YouTube disaster, back to normal. Okay, that's good. Uh, the gist of it I got out of the video is he mentioned some type of stalker and health issues. Now, I know people always go down the route of, um, it's from the horse's mouth, it must be true. Uh, yes and no, because... That's why there's a court system, you know? I mean, do you guys really think that that murderer that said he was innocent when clearly he butchered his parents, you know, and family, and he said he didn't do it? Does that mean we believe him? No. I'm not saying we're going to take great A to, to court for it. I, I still personally believe that he just took a break. Um, of course, he can mention all his health stuff, and that's something we should wait and be open-minded to. Before I released the video, and that was my gut theory, is that he just simply took a break. So, uh, if he's going to, he even says himself, I don't like to get all personal about my privacy. And I respect that that's fine. But if you don't release that type of information, people have to speculate and come to their own conclusions. Like I said, for anyone just to believe someone because they tell you something is, is, is stupid. Like, that's just how the world works. That's why we have a court system, because I could go kill someone right now and be like, I didn't do it. And are you guys going to believe me or not? Like, see, like the court does facts, witnesses. There, there, there's so many things that break down whether people are really telling the truth or not. I really personally believe, though, that he just took a break, which is fine. I hope his health really, truly is fine. But if he's going to share that information, of course, me and my mom, we're going to watch him because this is literally the one person that my mom watches and i know i'm gonna get hate for this being it thumbs down because great a under a people are uh they're, they're pretty emotional when they attack the videos they, they just do they go ape shit in it and i don't understand because like i was one of his original like followers like i knew him back when he had like a hundred thousand subs <laughs> like and you got these newcomers that just jump on the wagon and they act like they're some social justice warrior or something it's like you guys chill, okay? And if you want to attack me for being a re reaction channel, I actually have everyone's permission to react. So, But I doubt you guys would ever get this far of the video. That's one thing I learned is you guys won't. You guys will literally thumbs it down right away and just leave the video. But if you actually did watch this and you're a great editor fan and you still hate me, type in the words below, haha, prove you wrong, niche. I actually am one of the only people that watched it. If I actually see one of those comments... Great. If not, I'm going to blast all the thumbs downs on this video. Anyways, this is Mitch from Drunk FX. I'm out.